<laughs> Some of you have your valve tracks with you, that's all that matters, right? For those who don't realize, that's the herpes medication. <laughs> this table all knows about that. I know mean, uh, so, uh, Good to see you. I mean, that's why people with herpes love the mask. You didn't know. They know that mask came out and too late, she's already sucking your dick. So you didn't even see it when she took the mask off. It's just going. That's it. Dick sucking, you got herpes. Welcome to the 20th We got some great tables here tonight. We got the folks from Telercio's Deli. You couldn't fucking bring a six foot sock? What the fuck? You're cutting meat all day. You couldn't just cut an extra couple of slices and bring us a six footer? Sure. Jesus right. Christ. Well, good. Thank you guys for supporting us. That's awesome. Uh, we also have a great group of people here from uh, On Our Own at Sailor Vision uh, sitcom that's filming here in the Monmouth County area, right here. Yeah. So if you see them up at the bar later and they go, hey, I got this great investment for you, don't pay any attention to them. They're just trying to film their filthy, filthy comedy. Which uh, they conned me into, so look forward to that hopefully real, real soon. We got the writer, director, producer, Troy here, Troy Burbank. That is his real name. We got some, uh, some great, uh, other great celebrities with it. Keith Coogan's here. What? Where? What? Where? What? Where? What? From Don't Tell Mom I Kill the Babysitter, or whatever the fuck that movie is. We got him here. We got Ernie O'Donnell, the original Clerks. Every movie that Kevin Smith's ever done, any building that Kevin needs done, he's the one that's gutting it and putting it back together with ducks, you know, duct tape and glue and spit. And then we have all you normal people in the house as well. But it's great. It's good to see people back out and joining it. Uh, the artistic types like us. Uh, we, we drowned, we drowned when we can't be with the people. We drowned when we can't be amongst the laughs and hearing it. You know, some friends try to do Zoom comedy. Zoom, yeah, right, exactly, it is like that lady. Zoom fucking, you might as well be Zoom fucking, it's not the same. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? I can't hear you, are you telling me? Like, what? We did do the uh, comedy in parking lots where people sit in their cars. Oh, and thus, you know, they're listening to a bandwidth on the radio that the you know, speakers are broadcasting at. And if they liked what, they, what you did as laughter, they honk, oh, yes. And if oh, anybody has spent any time on the Garden State Parkway in the summer, that's all you hear. So it was weird in the beginning hearing these kind of honks as laughter, but man, my summer traffic is gonna be a breeze because I'm just gonna think they're laughing at me. They're laughing at me. Excellent. So that's what I take out of doing comedy in parking lots. Although now I'm going to empty parking lots going, how come they're not showing up? I'm doing 15 minutes in the Costco, come on. You got a big bag of, uh, of uh, weed somewhere and then come on and just honk your horn. I don't give a fuck. But it's good things are getting back to normal. We're gathering in places, we're going to sporting events, we're cheering on the Mets or the Yankees or whoever else is being injured like that. God, there are some guys on this Mets team, I'm like, who? What? Like we literally have the entire like two deep starting rotation of the Mets on the IRL. Like, it's like they are on the injured list. And I'm like, man, that fucking hospital team is gonna kill this year. DeGrom pitched a, a minor league game the other day, and literally the other team's Twitter account said, please make him stop. <laughs> Something to be out of thing. But it's good, things are getting back to normal, people are going out, Palestinians and Israelis killing each other again, it's going back to normal, Sorry. it's good. What, too soon? Really? <laughs> Bringing up the Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict is too soon? It's been going on for many decades. So uh, it's just, literally you could have said, well, this is 2017 jokes. Yes, I, I really am recycling 2017 jokes because they're back at it again. So anyway, 
Hopefully people can calm down and fucking just relax with that. But anyway, it's good to be up here. Good to see people. I, you know, people were trying such crazy things during COVID. Everybody did their, their sourdough starter. Did you make your sourdough? Oh my God, I did. Oh my God, I've been cooking so much, blah, blah, blah. Talk to an Italian grandmother. They're like, oh, great. You fucking cooked? Wow. <laughs> Try 20 pounds of pasta, antipasta, desserts, some a cappuccino, and cheese plates. All for four people. <laughs> Come on, you want some more? Don't you want some more? Have some more. Take some home with you. You better take some home with you. This table knows what I'm talking about. Every time I walk into their, te their, their deli, they're like, here, take a whole pan of rice balls, please. I'm like, what's the hand inside? They're like, it's, uh, it's Frank. Tony, Vinny, we have a deal with this one guy. He brings us this meat, and the next thing you know, we're making it into uh, rice balls. It's crazy. It's like when I travel around to different uh, cities, and they're like, you know, I, I, I'm being picked up by a car service. I'm like, all right, so what's the jam in this town? What, what am I going to eat? Like, what's the fucking thing? Like, buffalo, obviously, buffalo wings. You go down to the, the, the Gulf Coast, and there's like, you know, Cajun food and stuff. When someone in another city goes, um, oh, there's this great Italian place, I'm like, stop. Shut, just stop. I'm not having Italian food in fucking Kansas City. I lived in Staten Island for seven years, okay? We, that, that is fucking Italian food, right? There's actual mobster in the meat sauce. We have New York State water coming in. It's the best water ever to make sauce with, things like that. So whenever I hear Italian food, I'm like, mm, you fucking stupid. <laughs> hey, where's pizza? Well, we have a Domino's or a Papa John's. Shut up. I said fucking pizza, not fucking Play-Doh with sauce on it. Oh my God. <laughs> fucking racist Papa John. I can say the N-word. Uh, your great-grandparents probably could to get them to do more plantation work, but you motherfuckers can't be saying that word anymore. So, but it's good to be out. I'm glad to be here. Uh, one of the side things I tried doing uh, during COVID was uh, to uh, do an Airbnb thing, oh, no. you know, because you know, people were trying to get out of the city, but I was doing a different spin that people didn't think about. Airbnb for their cats. <laughs> That's right. I did a test with the four cats that me and my girlfriend had. And um, it was weird because you know they were very demanding. I put my iPad on the on the counter and did that laser game, you know, where they tap the, the iPad to find the laser and stuff to keep them occupied. One time, I guess they hit the back button or whatever. And next thing I know, they fucking have their review app up. Did you know this? It's called a meow. <laughs> yeah. Where your ratings go from perfect to fucking hairball in the shoe. And my fucking cat Fiona, that bitch, said that housekeeping didn't scoop litter box fast enough. She's never fucking written for me again. Fuck that cat, you bitch. So that's my experiment in, in doing, you know, your home-based business. Because I live up in the uh, northeast section of the Poconos, just over the border into Pennsylvania. Because fuck that, I'm not paying this crazy New Jersey property tax. What the fuck is that? The property tax. Holy yeah, crap. Right. Seriously, right? Yeah. You know it, right? Get up here, you tell me. <laughs> so uh, I have like a, like a house, like three times the house for one third the price. And I don't give a fuck if I have 15 guys who are ex-Marines and stuff that own every gun in the nation next to, to me and around me. And politically, we probably don't jive, but you know what? Fuck it, I'm able to go in places and spend money that I never had before because it's actually so much cheaper. So that's, that's enjoyable so there. So we have a great night. You guys ready for a great night? <laughs> we have some amazing comics, some good friends, to be honest with you. Half the room knows pretty much somebody up here. So we have a really great person. Uh, we even added some people on here who are really great friends with us. You'll enjoy that. We have Mr. Ken Kranz, who's going to be coming up here any second now. Nice. We saw the crowd was so huge, we were like, we have to get a Jew on board somehow. <laughs> I think people are coming in from Lakewood. Let's, let's get a Jew on board. <laughs> because we already got the Irish guy up here. We have the Italian guy coming up here soon. And now we have a Latino. That's uh, right. Angel. Uh, 
<laughs> who knew, right? Who knew? Who knew? Check it out. Be great. Uh, we have the great Mr. Angel Salazar. Yeah. Salazar. Yeah. For those of you in the back, you may have to stand up. He's a very petite man. Oh. That's terrible. Don't worry. Uh, we do not have a sign language interpreter tonight, which you're going to need for at least Angel, just saying. <laughs> and you're going to have to learn something. Uh, so I'm going to bring this next guy up. He's awesome. He's great. He's here really because he just wanted to get away from his wife and his kid who were down in Barnegat with their family. And he's like, dude, I just want to get out and have some drinks and tell some jokes. And we were like, all right, we'll fit you in. Come on. So please, give a warm, yeah. fantastic welcome to our good friend, Mr. Ken Cranch. Keep it going for Brian. Woo! Brian! Woo! That was a hell of an introduction, Bryce.